What's going on guys, welcome to another episode of Cream or Access as we take you behind the scenes with yet again another Nissan GTR as you can see behind me. This car belongs to um, Misty Rose. She owns a uh, tattoo company, hence why the company is called Misty Rose Tattoo. Uh, it's an exciting story because it's actually part of our brand new TV show, Season 3 to Supercar Super Fam. The entire car will be a full story based on um, the work that we're doing to it and uh, the concept which she has pretty much put a main input in. Now, what are we doing? We are going to be wrapping this car entirely in neochrome. Well, actually, I say entirely, but half. Half the car will be neochrome, and the other half will be matte black with her logo running down both sides, Misty Rose Tattoo, in artwork that she's designed herself. Um, it's going to be um, it's going to be having brand new forge wheels along with carbon practically everything, roof, bonnet, our own spoiler, and it's got a twist to this uh, car as well because for the story we're going to be actually fitting our own My17 front and rear bumpers as well um, and at the same time airlift suspension which is something she's kind of slightly against but not fully so we're going to hopefully see how it goes and uh, play it by ear, fit it and uh, hope for the best but yeah guys hope you enjoy the video we're super excited for this one hope you guys enjoy the story the build the video and obviously the show and supercar super fam peace god bless see you guys soon Okay, so we've removed the factory OEM suspension. Now it's time to get the airlift suspension in so we can get the car dropped on the floor. You wanna call it that? So today, I'm wrapping Misty's rear bumper in a nice, lovely matte black. So this is nearly done, the rest of it is going to be in a lovely chromey chromey colour and then this can go on the car and it's going to have all the carbon fibre bits in it and that's it. So that's the plan of action for today. The chromey wraps in! Yeah. on deck on Misty's car. As you can see we've got Paul in the back. We're just taking care of some typical aluminium oxidization that goes on with these uh, doors especially around the mirrors. The car's got a few dents that we've had to tackle around the car um, but they've all been done, repaired and put into primer. Uh, we're not going to paint the car at this stage. We're just going to put them all into primer, flat and polish them all and wrap on top of it and we'll save the paint job for another day when she uh, decides to take the wrap off. Right, okay, so the front bumper is pretty much done. We're on the rear bumper now. It's going half and half, as you can see, matte black on that side, neochrome on this side. But 
this has proven to be a very difficult task because this film is an absolute nightmare to work with. It's, you literally have to teach yourself once again how to wrap because on one hand you can do usual glosses and matte wraps and that sort of thing and that's straightforward easy goes down that like butter. Then you've got to kind of teach yourself again to do chrome. PPF is a different ball game altogether. But this chrome is just, it's just weird. It's, uh, I don't understand how they actually produced this and thought it was okay to apply to cars because it's so difficult. It's literally got no give whatsoever, maybe 2%. Um, yeah, when I say give, that's what he's kindly demonstrating here. Basically, it's got no stretch whatsoever. So all these gaps and crevices and little recesses and things like that, um, it just doesn't want to want to go in, so it pings out. Um, and the slightest sort of curvature on a panel like that and there, it doesn't like it at all. Um, so you end up piecing it a lot. So just like you do with chromes, where mm. you uh, have added piecework, uh, mm. and there's nothing wrong with that, as long as it's done properly. With this, it's, you can just double that piecework. That's basically what I'm trying to say. It's difficult. Okay, so the original concept was matte black, half the car, neochrome, the rest of the car. Obviously, this still needs to go in neochrome. Um, it's not quite finished. But what I'm gonna do is flip it a little bit as well, you know? Um, and that is purely because of what you can see going on there. And if you look, you can see how the uh, neochrome is popping against a matte black. It looks absolutely amazing. Really, really happy with how that looks. I just hope she likes it. And on that side, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna offset it with matte black in the recesses, in the vents, light, um, light holes, whatever you wanna call them. And we're gonna do the same on the front bumper too. Okay, so we are now moving on to the next step. Again, uh, another thing that she doesn't know about. So I'm pretty sure she's gonna love it. So this car is gonna be obviously the first GTR unveiling. Uh, in this look, no one's seen it. My car's already been out around for some time now, so it will get it at some point. Definitely needs to have this treatment. But um, as a first, this will be the first this GTR to have the plate flipper installed. So again, we've already uh, modified the front bumper to take this. So this will simply go in there like so. Again, we're gonna make some custom brackets to hold it in place and once that's done you can then finish it off by running the wires which Chris has already done in the car and plug it all in
guys, what's going on? So today is the final day. The car is now completed. You can see the homie. She looks absolutely stunning. The boys at the workshop have nailed it. Smashed smash this one out of the park and I'm actually really happy with how it's turned out. Misty had a, had a vision and we've executed it. Once the car gets here, Chiro's gonna be receiving it. He's gonna be putting it somewhere around the uh, premises and covering it with a cover until we get there in a few hours. We'll then get the car loaded up to the stage. The boys are already there at the moment setting up the whole stage setup uh, with the rotating platform. That'll be going on around six o'clock tonight. And so we'll get there to assist and get the car loaded back onto another recovery truck, which will then back up and drive the car off the truck onto the stage. It's gonna be a hectic evening ahead of us, uh, but I can't wait to uh, get stuck in and get the show on the road tomorrow. Peace and love.